Okay, well, I guess today we're looking at 4.4 factoring polynomials assignment tutorial. All right, let's take a look at question number one. All right, factor the polynomial or identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. So first off, we want to factor the greatest common factor. So it looks like we can factor out an x squared from each of these terms. So that leaves 2x squared plus 9x plus 7. Oops, sorry. Just adjusting the light a little bit so you can see it better. All right. Probably gonna be as good as we're gonna get. All right, so now we're gonna leave the x squared alone, okay? And we know that this is gonna factor into two parentheses, okay? And that's where we're gonna use the reverse box method. I'm sorry, reverse box method, okay? So we know first term, last term. Okay, now to make 2x squared, we know that that is 2x and 1x. So this is going to be 2x and this is going to be 1x. Okay, now these two terms need to combine to be 9x. All right. Now, we know we need to multiply 2 by this number and 1 times this number, okay? So the only combination that I know of to make 7 is 1 and 7. So let's put a plus 1 here and a plus 7 here, okay? Now we know 1 times 7 is 7, so that works okay. This times this gives us 7. Now, two, let's see if 2 times 1 plus 1 times 7 well, that's 2 plus 7, which is 9. So that works. So this is 2x. This is 7x. 7x plus 2x is 9x. So this works. So our factor is x squared times 2x plus 7 times x plus 1. Okay? Now, if we did this correctly... When we graph this and this, the overlaps. So let's do that now. All right, so let's graph 2x to the fourth plus 9x cubed plus 7x squared and x squared, parentheses 2x plus 7, parentheses, oh, parentheses, x plus 1. You see that they overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. Right. Alright, go ahead and finish up Question number one. Okay, now let's take a look at question number two. And let me get this light. Right, give me a second. I apologize. I just don't want you to get be frustrated with the the lighting there, so you can see the best possibility. All right. Now, factor the polynomial. Identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter N A. Okay. So first thing we're going to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is 
and x, which leaves x squared, actually 1x, which leaves 1x squared plus 1x minus 20. Okay? Now we're going to leave the 1x, and we know that this is going to factor into two parentheses if it factors. Okay? So that's where we use reverse box method. So first term, 1x squared. Last term, negative 20. We know the only combination of x squared is 1x and 1x, which you can just write as x and x. All right? Now we need to find all the combinations that make negative 20 and combine to be positive 1x, okay? So the first combination, and before I say that, you want the larger number to be positive and the smaller number to be negative since this number is positive, okay? So we know that plus 20 times negative 1 will give us negative 20, okay? So we know that negative 1 times 20 is negative 20. So that's good. But now we need to do 1 times 20 plus 1 times negative 1 to give us positive 1. So 1 times 20 plus 1 times negative 1 is 19. If that combination doesn't work. So now let's try the next possibility. Okay, we know that plus 10 times negative 2, so we know that negative 2 times 10 is negative 20. Okay, that works, but now we need to do 1 times 10 plus 1 times negative 2, which is 8. We're getting closer to the 1, but that combination doesn't work. Okay. Now, nothing multiplies by 3 to give you 20. So the next combination would be minus 4 times a positive 5. Okay. So now we know that negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Now, 1 times 5 plus 1 times negative 4 is a positive 1. So this combination works. 1x times 5 is 5x. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4x. These combine to be 1x. So our factor is x times x plus 5 times x minus 4. Okay? Now, if we did this correctly, when we graph this and this, they should overlap. Okay? So let's do that now. So x cubed plus x squared minus 20x and then x times x plus 5 times x minus 4. You see they overlap. So they overlap. So we know that this is the correct factorization of this. Okay. Go ahead and finish up question number all right, let's take a look at question number three. Okay, factor the polynomial. So factor the polynomial and identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter an A. So first thing we're going to do is factor out the greatest common factor. In this case, it looks like an X. I've been putting a 1. You don't have to. And that leaves X squared plus 2X minus 3. Okay? So we're going to leave the X alone. And we know if this factors, then 
it would be two parentheses. Okay? So now we use reverse box method, so x squared and negative 3. And these two terms combine to be 2x. Okay? So first off, we know that x times x makes x squared. Okay? Now we need to find the combinations that multiply to give you negative 3 and combine to be 2. And since this number is positive, the larger number needs to be positive. Okay? So the only combination I know of to make negative 3 is a plus 3 times negative 1. Okay? We know that negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. But now, remember this is 1x and 1x. So 1 times 3 plus 1 times negative 1, well, that equals 2. So our factor is x times x plus 3 times x minus 1. And if we did this correctly, when we graph, oh, almost forgot. 1x times 3 is 3x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1x. These combine to be 2x, so we know that this is the correct factorization. Okay? And to check that, we're going to graph this and this, and if they overlap, then we did it correctly. Okay? So x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x, oh, 3x, and then x times x plus 3 times x minus 1. They overlap, so that is the correct factorization of that. Okay, all right, go ahead and finish up looking at question 3. All right, now let's take a look at question four. Okay, factor the polynomial, you identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. So first thing we're going to factor is the greatest common factor from these, which in this case is an X, which leaves X squared plus 8X plus 15. Okay, now we know that we'll leave X alone, and if this factors, it will have two parentheses. And now we use reverse box method. So x squared, 15. All right. So we know that x or 1x times 1x makes 1x squared. Okay, so x and x. Now we need to find all the combinations that multiply give it 15 and combine to be 8x. Okay? So I like to go through all the combinations until I find it. So let's start with, I know that plus 1 and plus 15 make 15. So 1 times 15 is 15. Now, 1 times 1 plus 1 times 15 is 16. So that doesn't work. So now let's try the next. 2 doesn't multiply by anything to give you 15. 3 times 5 gives you 15. So let's see if that works. So 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. Now 1 times 3 plus 1 times 5 is 8. So this combination works, and let's check. 1x times 3 is 3x. 5 times 1 is 5x. 5 plus 3 is 8. So the factor of this is x times x plus 3 times x plus 5. And again, if we factor this correctly, or if this is the correct factorization, we graph this and this overlap. So let's see. So x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x and then x times x plus 3 times x plus 5. They overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. Okay, finish up looking at question number 4. Question number five, factor the polynomial by grouping, okay? And you only factor when grouping when there's four terms. There's four terms here, so we factor from the first two terms and then from the second two terms. 
The only thing you can factor from these first two terms is an x squared. So 1x squared, which leaves x plus 6. And now it looks like you can factor a 4 from both of these terms. So that's plus 4, which leaves x plus 6. Now, if you factor by grouping correctly, this and this will be the same. Since they are, we group together. 1x squared plus 4 times x plus 6. There's nothing else you can do to factor that. So now let's graph this and this and verify that this is the correct factorization. Okay, so x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 24. Okay, and then now let's graph parentheses x squared plus 4 parentheses parentheses oh, parentheses x plus 6. You see that it overlaps? So this is the correct factorization of this. All right, go ahead and finish up looking over question five. All right, factor the polynomial by grouping, okay? And we only factor by grouping when there's four terms. There's four terms, so we're going to factor from the first two terms and the second two terms. It looks like we can factor an x squared from the first two terms, which leaves x plus 8. And it looks like we can factor a negative 1 from both of these terms, so that's minus 1, which leaves x plus 8, okay? Now, these are the same, so we can factor by grouping, okay? So then that's x squared minus 1 times x plus 8, okay? Now, this is a difference of squares, so this factors to be x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 8, okay? And if you'd like to check that to verify that this is incorrect, or in fact factoring of this, let's draw our box. So x minus 1, x plus 1. Well, x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1, x. 1 times x is 1, x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1, x minus 1, x cancels, so this is x squared minus 1. So this verifies that that, in fact, is a correct factorization of that. All right. So now let's check. If we factor correctly, we graph this and this to overlap. So let's do that now. If I can get the dozen most. There we go. All right. So x cubed plus 8x squared minus x minus 8. Okay. And then parentheses x minus 1, parentheses x plus 1, parentheses x plus 8. They overlap, so this verifies that this is the correct factorization of this. Okay? All right, go ahead and finish up looking over question 6. All right. Let's take a look at question 7. Okay? Factored polynomial by grouping. Okay? Now, you factor by grouping when there's four terms. And so we can factor, it looks like a 64x cubed from this term, okay? Which leaves x plus 1, okay? Now, we can factor a 343 from these two terms, so that's plus 343 times x plus plus 1. Now, these are the same, so we can group these together, OK? 
Okay, so you have 64x cubed plus 343 times x plus 1. All right. Now you're probably wondering why I had this written. I had this written because hidden in the factoring by grouping problem is the sum of cubes. We see we have a, a cubed plus b cubed, which we know factors to be this form. So this is going to become a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared times x plus 1. Okay, now we need to figure out what A and what B are, okay? Now, I've pre-written the cubes, so we know 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, ah, 4 cubed is 64, okay? And 7 cubed is 343. So we know that here, A is 4X and B is seven okay and those are really close together can you write them a little further apart b equals seven so there's no confusing that okay all right so now we have a and we have b we plug those into here so that's 4x plus 7 times 4x squared minus 4x times 7 plus 7 squared times x plus 1. All right. So then this is 4x plus 7 times 4x squared is 16x squared minus 28x plus 49 times x plus 1. And if we did this correctly, when we graph this and this, they'll overlap. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so then this is 64x to the 4th plus 64x cubed plus 343x plus 343. Okay, now parentheses 4x plus 7, parentheses 16x squared minus 28x plus 49, oh, parentheses, oh, not 490, oh, times x plus 1. You see that they overlap, so this shows the correct factorization of this. All right, going to finish up looking over number 7. All right now, let's take a look at question number eight. Okay, factor the polynomial by grouping. Okay, so there's four terms, so we can factor by grouping. It looks like we can factor an 8x cubed from the first two terms, so that's 8x cubed, which leaves x plus 4 minus, it looks like we can factor 27, and we see that leaves x plus Okay, now these are the same, so we can group these together, so that's 8x cubed minus 27 times x plus 4. Now, the reason why I have this written is because hidden in the grouping problem is the factoring of difference of cubes. Okay, now we know it's in difference of cube, the form is this, so that's a minus b times a squared plus AB plus B squared, and then don't forget to times this by X plus 4. Okay, so we need to find out what A is and what B is. 
Well, A is easy. We have, we know that 2 cubed is 8, and B, we know 3 cubed is 27. Okay? So A is 2x, and B is 3. Okay? So we plug those in, so that's 2x minus 3 times 2x squared plus 2x times 3 plus 3 squared times x plus 4. Okay, so then this simplifies to be 2x minus 3. 2x squared is 4x squared plus 6x plus 9 times x plus 4. Okay? And again, if this is a correct factorization, when we graph this and this, they'll overlap. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so 8x to the 4th plus 32x cubed minus 27x minus 108. Okay, and then parentheses 2x minus 3, parentheses see 4x squared plus 6x plus 9, and then parentheses x plus 4. You see that they overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. All right, go ahead and finish up looking at question number 8. All right, question number nine, okay? Factor by grouping, okay? So it looks like we can factor out an x squared from the first two terms, which leaves x plus 8. And then it looks like you can factor a 2 from each of those, so plus 2, which leaves x plus 8, okay? These are the same, so you can factor by grouping, combine terms, x squared, plus 2 times x plus 8. There's nothing else more you can factor. So let's check to see if this is the correct factorization of that. Okay, so let's see. x cubed plus 8x squared plus 2x plus 16. Okay, and then parentheses x squared plus 2, and then x plus 8. You see that this overlaps, and if you wanted to, you could actually zoom out and see that it, in fact, overlaps the entire graph. Unless it overlaps, so this shows that this is the correct factorization of this. All right, go and finish up looking at number 9. All right, question number 10. Factor the polynomial by grouping, okay? So it looks like we can factor 2x cubed from the first two terms. So 2x cubed, which leaves x minus 1. And then we can factor out a negative 1 from both of these terms. So that leaves minus 1, which leaves x minus 1. And we know that this is correct factorization because if we multiply, we get negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. Okay, but these are the same. So we can group them together. So 2x cubed minus 1 times x minus 1. And the reason I have this written here is because hidden in the grouping problem is the factoring of the difference of cubed. Okay, so we know that that's the difference of cubed, so we're going to use this form. So then that's a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And then can't forget that that's times x minus 1. Okay. Now, we have to ask ourselves, what cubed gives us 2x cubed? Well, we know that... 1x cubed gives us 1, 
2 cubed gives us 8. So nothing that we know of cubed gives us 2. So that means we can't factor that with the difference of cubed. So you leave it in this form. Let me size. There's no A that when cubed gives us 2. Now B is 1. That's that's simple because 1 cubed gives us 1. But we have no A, so it means that we can't factor with the difference of cubes. So we leave it like that. Okay? And let's verify that this is correct by graphing this and this. Okay, so 2x to the 4th minus 2x cubed minus x plus 1 and then parentheses 2x cubed minus 1 parentheses x minus 1. You see that these overlap so this is the correct factorization of this. Okay so go ahead and finish up looking at question 10. All right, now let's take a look at question number 11. Factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. Okay, so we see that we have the sum of cubes, so we'd use this form. Okay, so now let's find the A value and the B value. Well, X cubed gives us X cubed. Now we find out the B value. What number cubed gives us 46? Well, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64. There's not a number cubed that gives you 46, so we would say that this is irreducible, and you would enter an A. Okay? All right, go ahead and finish up looking at question 11. All right, now let's look at question number 12. Okay. Fact of the polynomial or identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter an A. So here we have the difference of cubes, so we know that we use this form. And now we need to find A and we need to find B. Well, A is easy. X cubed gives us X cubed. Now we figure out what number cubed gives us 343. Well, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, 6 cubed is 216. 7 cubed is 343, so B is 7. Okay, so now we plug these two into here. So that's X minus 7 times X squared plus X times 7 plus 7 squared. So then that's X minus 7 times X squared plus 7X plus 49. Okay, and let's graph these to verify that this is the correct factorization. Okay, so x cubed minus 343, and then parentheses x minus 7, parentheses x squared plus 7x plus 49. Okay? You said you see that they overlap and again you could click so we'll do that. Wow. Apparently the graph fit that gives you can't but you can see that this overlaps. You don't need to see the other parts to verify that this is the correct factorization of this. Okay? All right. So go ahead and finish up looking over 12. All right, now let's take a look at question 13. Okay, factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. So we see we have the sum of cubes. So now we need to use this form. Okay, so we're looking for A and we're looking for B. 
Well, to find out what cubed gives us 8, we know that 2 cubed gives us 8, so we know that this is 2x. Now we want to find out what cubed gives us 729. Well, 9 cubed gives us 729, so b is 9. Now that we have a and b, we plug those into here. So that's 2x plus 9 times 2x squared minus 2x times 9 plus 9 squared. Okay, so let's simplify. That's 2x plus 9 times 2x squared is 4x squared minus 18x plus 9 squared is 81. Okay, so now let's graph these to verify that this is the correct factorization. Okay, so then that's 8x cubed plus 729, okay? Now, not going to make the mistake I did before zooming out to, to see the whole thing. As long as this line here overlaps, you can with certainty know that they're, in fact, the same, and this will be a correct factorization. So, parentheses 2x plus 9, parentheses 4x squared, minus 18x plus... 81. And you see that these overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. Okay, so finish up looking at question 13. All right, let's look at question 14. Factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. So here it looks like we can factor a 2x from each of the terms, which leaves x squared plus 4. There's nothing else you can do with that, so let's graph this and this and verify that they overlap. Okay, so 2x cubed plus 8x and then 2x times x squared plus 4. You see that they overlap, so this is the correct factorization of that. All right, go ahead and finish up looking at question 14. Okay, factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. So here we can see that we have a sum of cubes. Okay, so we're going to use this form. And now we need to find A and B. Okay. All right, so... We need to figure out what number cubed gives us 686. But wait, before we jump to this, let's see if we can reduce these numbers, okay, by dividing by 2 or factoring out a 2. And we can actually do that. When I mean by factor, what I'm saying is we can divide each of these by 2. Okay, so we can factor out a 2. So if we do that, that leaves 686 divided by 2 is 343 x cubed plus 250 divided by 2 is 125. So now we can use this form. So that's 2 times a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, and then we need to find a and b. Okay, well, we know that 7 cubed gives us 343, so this is 7x, and we know that 5 cubed gives us 125, so b is 5. Okay, so now we plug these into here. So that's 2 times 7x plus 5 times 7x squared minus 7x times 5 plus 5 squared. Okay, so then this becomes 2 times 7x plus 5 times 49x squared minus 35x plus 25. 
and let's graph this with the original expression to verify that it is the correct factorization. Okay, so then that 686x cubed plus 250, okay, and then that's two parentheses, 7x plus 5, parentheses, 49x squared minus 35x plus 25. You see that they overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. Okay, so go ahead and finish up looking at question 15. All right, now let's take a look at question 16. Factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. Okay. So we have 64x cubed minus 512. Well, that's a difference of cubes, so we know we can use this form. Okay, so we need to figure out what A and what B are. Well, let's look. We see here that 4 cubed is 64, so this would be 4x. And we see that 8 cubed is 512, so this would be 8. Okay, so we have... 4x minus 8 times 4x squared plus 4x times 8 plus 8 squared. Okay, so then this is 4x minus 8 times 4x squared is 16x squared. 8 times 4 is 8, 16, 24, 32. That's plus 32x plus 8 squared is 64. Now, this one's interesting in that you're not done because you can factor out a greatest common factor from here and from here. You can actually factor out a 4 from this, which leaves 4 times 1x minus 2. And then here it looks like we can factor out see, a 16 from each of these terms, which leaves 1x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay? And then now we have to multiply 4 times 16, which 4 times 16, I want to say is 64, but let's make sure. So 4 times 16 is 64. So then this is 64 times 1x minus 2 times 1x squared plus 2x plus 4. And let's graph to verify that this is the correct factorization. Okay. Okay, so 64x cubed minus 512. Okay, and then 64 parentheses x minus 2 parentheses x squared plus 2x plus 4. You see that they overlap, so this is the correct factorization of this. All right, go and finish up looking over 16. All right, let's take a look at question 17. All right, factor the polynomial or identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. Okay, now this one, be, we see this is the difference of Q, but we can factor out the previous problem. We end up having to factor at the end because we didn't factor in the beginning, the greatest common factor. So now let's go ahead and divide both of these by 100. So we're going to factor out uh, 100 by each of those. Okay, So when you do that, that's 100 times x cubed minus 270. Okay. Now, 
we need to find a number. We need to find the A and the B value, okay, before we start using this form, okay? Because we know that this should be 100 times A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared, okay? But we, need to, we know that A would be X, but now we need to find a B value, a number cubed that gives us 270. Okay, so we know that 3 cubed is 27, but not 270, so we need to go further. So 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, 6 cubed is 216, okay, and 7 cubed, I've forgotten off the top of my head, so the fine cubed, basically the concept is... 7 times 7 times 7. Oh, sorry, the cock got frozen. Let me try this again. 7 times 7. Forty-nine times seven is three forty-three. Okay, so this shows you that there's not a number cubed that gives you two seventy. So this is as far as you can go when factoring. Okay, so let's graph that to verify that that is correct. Okay, so let's graph 100x cubed minus 2,700, enter, and then let's graph 100 parentheses x cubed minus 2,700. Oh, I'm sorry, 270. And that is a great example of catching a mistake. I believe I divided 100 incorrectly. Okay, so let me come back here and do 2700 divided by 100 is 27. So by checking, I've actually caught myself. You see that they don't overlap. So this is not a correct factorization. So now I want to make sure I, did, I didn't do something wrong. And in fact, I did. Okay. So this was incorrect. Okay. I'm kind of glad I made that mistake. So you can see how graphing and checking can actually help you catch your mistake. Okay. So, when you factor out 100, it should be x cubed minus 27, okay? Now, we know that this is going to be 100 times a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, now we're looking for A and B. A is easy, X cubed gives you X cubed, and B is 3. We know that because 3 cubed is 27. Okay, so now let's plug those in. Okay, so then this is 100 times X minus 3 times x squared plus x times 3 plus 3 squared, okay? All right?
So then this is 100 times x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. Okay? So now if we did this correctly, we graph this and this, it'll overlap. So let's do that now. So we have 100x cubed minus 2700. And now let's graph 100, parentheses x minus 3, parentheses x squared plus 3x plus 9. You see now, now it overlaps, so this is the correct factorization of this. Okay? All right, to so finish up number 17. All right. Now let's look at question number 18. Factors of polynomial are identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, enter NA. Okay? Now, we see here that we have the sum of cubes so that we know that that's A cubed plus B cubed equals A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared. You don't have to memorize this. You're going to be able to use your notes and examples on the test. And your assignments. So you recognize that, use this form. Okay. Now we need to find the A value and the B value. Okay, well, A is easy. X cubed gives us X cubed. Now we need to figure out what number cubed gives us 457. So let's just run through. I'm going to let you just look at 1 cubed through 10 cubed. You can see what those are. Now let's look at 11 cubed through 17 cubed. And let's specifically look at 16 cubed and 17 cubed. You get 4,096, 4,913. Well, that lies between there, which means that there's not a number cubed that gives you 4,571. So this would be irreducible, and you would put NA. Okay? So go ahead and finish up looking at question 18. All right. Question 19. A piece of rectangular crafting supply is being cut for a new sculpture. You want its length to be three times its height and its width to be four times its height. If you want the wood to have the volume of 324 cubic centimeters, what will its length, width, and height be? Use X for the height of the piece of crafting supply. Okay. Now, I disagree with them. I say let's not use X. Let's use H for height. Okay. Now, what you first need to do is draw yourself a rectangular prism. Okay. The way you do that, okay, is draw a horizontal line. Okay. Teach you some drafting. Okay. Now, what you want to do is make sure you slide. Your ruler up parallel to the previous line. Okay. And now we're going to connect this side. Okay. And again, you're going to slide your ruler, making sure it's parallel to this line. So try to. And then draw that line. Okay. That's your top of your rectangle prism. And then you're going to. I would measure. So these are the same length. Let's make this one inch. And so again, I'm going to slide this so it's parallel and it's the same measurement, so one inch. Okay. And then connect those. Now to get this line, this line, you're going to slide, making sure this is parallel. Okay. And then again, taking your ruler and making sure it's parallel and you slide down. And now you have a rectangular prism. Okay. Now it says the length is three times its height. So L equals 3H. Okay. It says the width is four times its height. So W equals 4H. And let's just call height H. Okay. 
Now it says the volume is 324. Okay, so now we know the volume of a rectangular prism is volume equals length times width times height. Okay, now we know the volume is 324, so 324 equals, well, length is 3h times the width is 4h. Okay, and then the height is h. Okay, so now we're going to multiply. 3 times 4 is 12, times 1 is 12, so that's 324 equals 12. Now h times h times h is h cubed. Okay, now to solve for h, we're going to divide both sides by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Okay, and we can use a calculator. 3, 3, 24 divided by 12 is 27. So 27 equals h cubed. Well, you know the answer to this because you've gone through the cube several times on several problems. You ask yourself, well, what cubed gives you 27? The answer to that is 3. So h equals 3. Okay. Now that you know h, you can find all the dimensions. Okay. Length now equals 3 times 3, which is 9. The width is 4 times 3, which is 12, and the height is 3. Okay? So, the equation, which was 3, 24 equals 12h cubed. Okay? They might say V equals 12H cubed, but I'm not quite sure. All right, the length of the piece of craft will be 9 centimeters. The width will be 12, and the height will be 3. Okay? All right, go ahead and finish looking up at this. All right. Let's take a look at the last question. Okay. Select which, if any, special factoring pattern each polynomial expression follows. Okay. So 4x squared plus 9. Okay. There's none because there's no sum of square patterns. Okay. All right. Next part. x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares. Okay. Because we know that x squared minus 4 factors to be x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay. Now, number 3. We have x cubed plus 729 is a sum of cubes because we know that a is 2x and b is 9. Okay. All right, next one. Okay. 64x cubed minus x squared plus 1. There's none because you have the extra term of negative x squared, and this is not factorable. Okay. And then 6x cubed plus 3 is none because 6 and 3 are not perfect cubes. Okay. You would look for what a is. There's no number cubed that gives you 6x cubed. And b, there's no number cubed that gives you 3. Okay. This should help with your assignment. Go ahead and finish up your 4.4 .4 factoring polynomial assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.